Hello again, YouTube. This is the truth man giving you that truth. I know you, you know, I know you smarter than the rest of us, you know. The most high come knock on your door, tell you everything. You don't need a guy like me. But for those of you who do, who like to hear from the prophets, like the old times. I mentioned to you in a previous video how Joshua was indeed a man of the Most High. And when the Most High sent one of his servants, Joshua knew it right away, bowed down to the ground and said, what does the Most High have to say to his servant? These are the people that, the main people, like it's my job to warn everybody. The main people, these are the main people that I am led to. It's the ones with the humble heart, the ones that want to learn, the ones that understand and know when they're hearing the truth. You know, some people, like we talked about, man, what is what my papers doing up here? Man, hold on. Hold on. I ain't perfect, y'all. You know, don't look at the papers, the business papers. I'm glad I noticed that. But back to what I'm saying. So, you know, a lot of people like to judge by outward appearance. And they're going to, some of them are going to pay the price when they stand before God. And he want to know, why didn't you listen to this person? Or why didn't you listen to that person? And your secret reason was, because they were fat, because you thought they were ugly, you thought their teeth was messed up, you didn't like the way they talk. None of those reasons are gonna fly with the Most High. To, you know, but it's your prerogative, though. It's your prerogative. It's your soul, not my soul. Thank God. It's your soul. So. I want to talk about the love of money. Like, you hear a lot of different messages on this topic of money when it comes to its relation to spiritual things in the Bible. Some with a lot of truth, too many with not the proper understanding. See, the Bible never said it was bad to have money. In fact, it was a good thing. It's always been a good thing. What's bad is when people turn their backs on the Most High and His ways, His statutes, His requirements for our lives to get money. And that's what we're talking about on today. That money is a root, a root of all kinds of evil. See, a lot of people have a mistranslation of that. That's why I go to the uh, translation like the New American Standard Bible. The properly translated uh, versions of that scripture is this. For the love of money is a root of all types of of evil some some translations say kinds which some when they covet after have erred from the faith and pierced themselves through for many sorrows now i'm getting ready to break this scripture down real quick then i'm gonna get to what i gotta do real fast the love of money is a root of all kinds of evil what are some of these kinds of evil a uh, robbery that ends in someone getting hurt or dying. Uh, strip tease, stripping. Um, prostitution, hypergamy, people marrying people for their money. Gold digging, people getting with people showing interest over money. Uh, compromise, people won't talk about the Bible. They won't say what, what the truth really is. Some preachers preaching weak messages to get money. Um, 
OnlyFans, Instagram, people posing to get money. They hoping these rich guys, people letting people dookie on them to get money. Letting put people put dookie in their mouth to get money. I try to censor myself, YouTube. Hey, YouTube, what are you doing? Dookie is a censor word. We all know what dookie is. We do it every day. So, let me just keep riding around because I'm getting close to where I got to go. I'm not quite done with what I want to say. So, these are some of the ways people take money to, to kill people off. It still takes place. It's not just on the movies. It still happened. It said it is a root of all types of evil. People who don't understand the Bible are getting taught by people who don't understand the Bible. They think it's talking about gambling. They think it's talking about if you're an ambitious person, if you're working a lot of hours, if you work in multiple jobs. I've heard preachers say this. That's not what that's talking about. Because it's not evil for you to work hard. In fact, clearly you haven't been reading your Bible if you think that it's evil to work hard. Clearly you haven't. When it says that, that's what it's talking about. It's talking about porn, prawn, excuse me, we call it. Shout out to Coach Greg. And his his uh, very intelligent ways of avoiding the censorship. Prawn people selling their sags. Shout out to Coach Greg for money. For money. Pull over. A second. Hopefully people won't be all in my mix. College professors taking bribes, lying about this, lying about that for money. Doctors, y'all already know, lying about money. Lying to get money. Some of these doctors, you'll go to the doctor because you'll have symptoms of something, right? And and then they'll show you a picture of somebody that actually had it saying it's you. And you end up having a surgery that you didn't even need. That's what it's talking about, stuff like that. The love of money is a root of all kinds of evil. All kinds of evil. You see these young guys. They have no desire to work. They watch all these rap videos glorifying the hood life. So now they walking around with guns. Hoping that they can have a robbery that goes right. To get your money. Hoping you have a lot of money on you when they rob you. It's a root of all kinds of evil. We know already from the Ten Commandments. You shall not steal. But people steal for money. Just here in this uh, Milwaukee area. The guy was stealing uh, dish detergent and, and uh, uh, tied. The police was caught. Police chased him. He running from the police. He dives in the river, in the Milwaukee River. And he dies because he didn't know how to swim against the current. All for the love of money see it is a root of all kinds of evil it doesn't mean that it's wrong to have it if you pulling out your wing day and having sex and making babies and you ain't trying to get some honest money something is wrong with you man something is seriously wrong with you man why are you still having sex to uh, impress women. I heard a rap song from the late Pimp C where 
you know, he, he, he was, some people say he was really a pimp. But he had a lyric in one of his songs that, where he said, he don't bleep for recreation, but he's good in, in the bed. And some of you guys, instead of working, you still trying to prove that. You still trying to prove that. Sex is recreation. It's not gonna, unless you are one of these people I'm talking about, hypergamous, stripper, uh, prostitute, uh, something else, it's not gonna produce any money for you. So, you know, find something else. But yeah, these are some of the people that the Apostle Paul more than likely had in mind. He wasn't talking about a plumber who's getting contracts and he's working long hours. He wasn't talking about a carpenter, which the Messiah, by trade, they say was a carpenter. He wasn't talking about those type of people. He's talking about the people who accept bribes, the people who do things that are against the requirement of the Most High for money. And if money was so evil, watch this, watch this. If you saw my more recent video, if money was so evil, right, then why when Joshua took all the money, I believe it was from Jericho when the wall came down, that they said, and this money, this silver, gold, grass, they mentioned all the stuff, is sanctified, uh, as they put it, in the Most High's treasury, as they call it. If you're a believer, it's not. It's, it's like my money is the Most High's treasure. It's the Most High's treasure. Another thing, people lie and say they homeless for money. That's becoming a common thing here in this area in Wisconsin. All of these people ain't homeless. Uh, somebody I know followed a guy out to a suburb uh, named, I think it was Fox Point. He was out there saying he was homeless and, and collecting money from people. They told him, you better not ever come over here no more. Lying for money. Lying is a root. The Bible says that all liars shall their part in the lake of fire. So people lie for money. A lot of time you gotta lie to get these jobs. You know? So this is what it's talking about. It's not talking about a person who does things uh, honestly or in an honest manner to get more. It's okay to get more. You're supposed to get more. Money flows like water. Do you stop drinking water? You bet not. So you got all these preachers who, who, who falsely claim to be sanctimonious that take this scripture and they twist it out of proportion all while riding in Mercedes Benz, Cadillacs. I'm so glad these guys can't get over on me. They want to so bad. They would love for me to just come in there, get out on my knees on the floor, let them lay their hands on me and just start bringing them money. Never! It ain't gonna happen, man. Listen, man, that, those was the old, uh, naive, first getting to know and love God days. Now I know what I have in the Most High. The Most High shows me his do's and don'ts. He shows me. I have my own relationship with the Most High. He shows me. He shows me things that you might say is evil. Like, like going to play games going to play games, betting in fantasy games, that stuff is not evil, man. It's evil if you cheat. It's evil if you lie. But you just doing it, have fun, man. Stop letting these little weak, fake people in your family and people at your job condemn you over stuff that the, I'm telling you as a prophet that the Most High is not condemning you over. He could care less about the lottery. He could care less about casino. He looks at, you taking care of your family? Oh, okay, you took care of your family. Now go ahead. 
He could care less about a person being in a fishing tournament. He could care less if you shooting pool and y'all got a little wager on it. He could care less. That's not what he's talking about. What he talking about is when people commit adultery for money. Let's say you're a woman. And let's say your husband is poor. And let's say this other guy say, you know, I really like you. You know, what what do I have to do? What do I, I tell you what I'll do. I'll give you $2,000. I'll give you $200, $300. You know that stuff some of y'all do with y'all landlord. That's a root of all kinds of evil. You know how you be on that pole, talking about you got to take care of your kids. Clearly, you're not having faith in God. You resulting in sin instead of leaning on the most high. And that's why they're starting some of these guys. Prostitutes get die every day. They come up missing every day. That's just the way it is. When you in that life with the devil, anything goes. That's what you need to understand. You can't expect God to protect you and you don't turn your back on him. Would you protect you? No, you wouldn't. So, people like to twist in their own self-righteousness. There is an absolute truth in everything. There is a truth in everything. And the truth about money in the Bible is, look and compare it to the scripture. Something that you might find petty. You talking about you don't drink or smoke, you don't gamble. But you still getting tattoos. The Bible told you not to get tattoos. That's a root. Stripping is a root. Prostituting is a root. Feet pictures is a root. Hypergamy is a root. Gold digging is a root. It's no wonder those guys be cheating on you. They know you after they money. So you ain't gonna be the only one. So, you know, time to wrap this up. You ain't going to be the only one. Any woman to stand with a guy for what he provides or if she's too lazy to get it herself or whatever her reason is, if you use a man, it's a root. It's a root. And I assure you that eventually... Your relationship is going to fall apart. And it's good for you. It's good for you. Especially if you got a good guy. He's faithful to you. He's seeing women he's attracted to. Not doing nothing. Not saying nothing. It's good for you. So don't stop taking that scripture. And now you won't. You only work part time. You don't work hard. You don't go back to school. You don't start business. You don't, you don't do nothing on the side because you think it's evil. It's not. It's not. If you ain't got enough money and you do more, it's not evil. That's not what that scripture was saying. Either you are lazy or you just learn from the wrong people. But that's not what the scripture said. The love of money is a root of all kinds of evil. It's one of the reasons why people do evil. That's what that scripture was saying. So when these Instagram models, dots, whatever you want to call them, turn it around saying, look, you like them thick, huh? Look at this. And something happened to them. Are you righteous or no? See, y'all starting to call good evil and evil good like the Bible says. You got to stop that. You got to be more righteous than that. You know, and on that, I'm going to close. Stop making people feel bad about gambling. Gambling is gambling. It's a game. It's fun for most. You know, and as long as you take care of home first, there's nothing wrong with it. Take it from me, somebody studied the Bible, other books, 
know how to pray, know how to learn from God, that's not what that scripture is talking about. So stop trying to make it say something that it's not saying. Thanks for watching. Hit the like button. Subscribe.